Yo. <laughs> Are we good? I hope we're good. We were good earlier. Okay. This big bad direct is starting up now. It's 9, 9 a.m. on the dot, Nintendo. What do you got for me? I'm uh, very excited. Hello everyone, I'm Masahiro Sakurai, director of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate from Sora Limited. Hi Sakurai. We'll be using today's showcase to give you a first look at our next DLC fighter. Oh boy, I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited. Actually, hardly anyone knows what we'll be announcing today, even yeah. among Nintendo staff worldwide. Really now? The development team and other stakeholders have been working on this fighter with the utmost secrecy. Okay. Which means other Nintendo staff <clears throat> around the globe will only start making preparations for release after the showcase has been broadcast. So it's it not going to happen. Available right but... away. Please understand that it will take a little time. Okay, I so think even many yeah, Nintendo employees will be surprised. To there, see he has he has four controllers wow, with him. Really? <laughs> he has four controllers. So let's maybe multiple variants of a character. Hands on but the latest information. <sighs> New info, guys. However, New info. even if you say that's not the character I was picturing, I hope you don't have any hard feelings. <laughs> okay. So we prepared a fighter reveal video. Once it starts, I think you'll figure out who it is pretty quickly. All right. Now, let's do this. Let's see if that statement is correct. We'll figure out pretty quickly. He says, based on the reveal trailer, a couple seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Fire Emblem Three Houses. Okay. But is it gonna be a Three Houses rep? Has finally come to unleash the forbidden spell of Zaharat upon our enemies. Please. And I was the one that was saying that Three Houses rep wouldn't wouldn't come because everything's you know third party in the DLC. And here's Byleth being third party in the DLC. Right into an enemy's trap. Man, I've been playing three houses in Octopath recently. I too am trapped within this void. Thank you, Sothis. In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. Are you prepared to die? Here's the swerve. It's not actually three houses. It's just Chris Neos himself. I thought as much. I also do not wish to die. And yet... There is no other choice. There is no other choice. Seize prompt. Join Smash. Hello. Must Ella. join Smash. Huh? Really now? Join Smash Brothers already. What in the world are you waiting for? Can you say no? I mean, it's just Be Belmont Sword. Join Smash House. Okay. So joining Smash consumes even the darkness itself. Fuck. <laughs> People didn't really didn't want this, and it's like I mean I'm hyped for it. I'm so hyped for three houses of representation. Oh, he has a dancing blade. Ooh, Lorenzo is disgusting. Ooh, okay. All right, he has to be different, like in some way, because he's getting killed off. Um, what's next? Okay. I see. Too many swordsmen are there. Yeah. And you, you wield the sword as well. What will you do? Dummy. Okay, so we know female bias in the game. Cool. Huh. So that is how you plan to win the day? Be a girl. So be it. I reward your cleverness this time. So alternate characters question mark? Or is it alternate costume? Okay, here come the three, three protagonists. <laughs> Rather the three weapons, how I guess. Is this? Okay. So he can see all of them? Recruits Violet? So, are they separate characters? I don't think they're separate characters, are they? Fucking oh. okay. Yeah. Of anyone, you should be able to handle the hero's relics. Okay, so she does with all the relics. Or is it exclusively female Violet? No, because it's male too. Use Amir's overwhelming power. That's kind of cool. We have an axe fighter and a lance fighter and a sword fighter and a bow fighter all in one. Okay, that's Nito. He uses fucking fail as a douche lair. 
That's neato. That's neato as shit, actually. That's an interesting concept. I don't like it, but it's still, it like, I don't think I don't, yo, look at Dimitri. Yo, okay, I saw. I'm kind of, I'm kind of cheating a little bit because, again, being being a fan of, of three houses, it is kind of nice to see this, but at the same time, I didn't want to see three houses representation, as but I don't want to see Byleth really. Oh well, I'm still really excited. Like it's, it's I'm torn. <laughs> He's putting up the banner still. Hello. Hi. Yes, there you have it. Byleth from Fire Emblem Three Houses is joining the battle. He better make a joke about it. Fire Emblem Three Houses was released just last summer, so it's still very new. Even so, you'll soon be able to play as them in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, February, I'm assuming? This release is planned for January 28th. Oh, we'll two weeks from now. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighters Pack. Two weeks from now. It will also be available for purchase individually. That's crazy. Huh. In case you're not familiar I'm gonna be with Fire Emblem or Three Houses, I'll explain a few things, so don't worry. Okay. And I got my knowledge, but... What is, off, what is Fire Emblem? Show me FE1. Ga show me FE1 gameplay right now. It's really hard to pronounce in Japanese. The producer said it's okay if I just say Fire Emblem. But when writing it, if you don't write Fire Emblem, the Fire Emblem police will come and get you. So please. X Fire Emblem. Oh, Fire Emblem. The ah, there's FE1. There's FE1. The Famicom in 1990. You could say it was a pioneer in the genre of tactical role-playing games. You might be wondering what makes it particularly tactical. Well, it's tactical in that it simulates combat. You can think of it as moving pieces in a board game. Or in other words, a game in which you advance units across a grid and battle. Okay. The basic concept there. When we talk about tactical games of that era, how long was the presentation? Thirty-five minutes, I think. Man, tanks, aircrafts, and so on. I didn't. I didn't just take a guess. Because each unit was a specific character, sort of like in role-playing games. This music kind of nice, though. Something made it stand out from other Nintendo products. Mm -mm. Characters could permanently mm -mm. die. That's facts, yeah. That's pretty direct language, though. So perhaps we should just say they're sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> but really, if a character fell in battle, you'd lose that unit. They'd be gone, and you couldn't use them again. Permanent death. Permadeath is a scary thing, man. Recent entries in the series maintain this concept of permadeath to some degree in classic mode. There's permadeath. But a lot of games now allow strategic withdrawals, so to withdrawals. speak. Withdrawals. Huh? In the older Die. Games, your units would really be gone, never to be mentioned again. Scary. Never to be mentioned again. Jesus Christ. The game's stories are told like chronicles of war, with increasingly distinct characters and engrossing scenarios. Look, I would have liked. Okay, I would like if Byleth has several characters also appear in costumes the based off of them. Six of the seven can use a counter attack. It's their down special. Six of the seven. There's actually a reason for this. When I was considering how to incorporate Fire Emblem Fighters into Super Smash Bros. Melee, I thought it might be interesting to reflect the turn-based nature of the original game. So counter First both. comes your opponent's turn. They attack, and you counter. Next comes your turn. Ah, so that's why all the Fire Emblem characters have counters, and every other character that has counter who doesn't need it. Is the 17th game in the series. That's nuts. People who aren't Japanese in particular Nuts. might be thinking, 17 games? There are yeah. that many? Yeah, bro. Well, if you include Fire Emblem Heroes in the remakes, but you don't include the Satellaview game, Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE, and Fire Emblem Warriors, then it comes out to 17 games. Let's try saying them in the Fire Emblem Can You Say It Challenge. Oh my god, give me all of them right now. Give, give me Shadow Dragon. Gonna try. Are you going to do it in Japanese? Okay. Shadow Dragon, Gaiden, Mystery of the Emblem, uh, Genealogy, I think it's fourth. No, Thresh is fourth. But no, there's five. Okay, he's going through all of them. Okay. Okay, okay. He's going through all of them. I can Genealogy is four, Thresh is five, Binding Blade six, um, seven. <laughs> so you saw how I was counting in a weird way, right? I was counting in binary. Huh? Why? This is zero. <laughs> okay. This here, and you get one. Okay, cool. And then you get two. But why? Then two plus one equals three. Why? So this would be four. Why? Five, six, uh, why? Seven, and eight. Why, why are we doing this and then? And you get sixteen. Why are we doing this? Add one, and you get seventeen. Why are we doing this? 
Awesome, isn't it? Are you counting a binary now? Free time? You can actually count up to 31 on one hand. And if you use both hands, you can count all the way up to 1,023. Oh, neato, actually. Random fact. If you've given up counting the knots in a tatami mat, you could always give it a go. What is Fire Emblem Three Houses? In Japanese, the Yo, I just realized all the FE3 house music we were gonna get. Holy shit, I just, I just, I just hit me. All this good ass music. Violeth becomes a professor who ends up leading. It's probably not. Oh, they're just burning that up. Um, is there gonna be. No, Chris Neosi's voice isn't gonna be in the game. Damn, that sucks. I would have loved Chris Neosi's voice to be in Smash. Five years pass, and you meet up with your grown up students to battle against the other houses in their regions. It's a very sad game in which your stars. former allies become enemies and turn hostile to try and kill you. The lyrics. I need to replay this game. To understand the concept mm -hmm. of Fire Emblem Three Houses, I played an early version of the game before its release. Nerd. Lucky bastard. I've done the same thing before, with okay. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, for example. Okay. Again, lucky bastard. Because I couldn't wait until launch to experience it, or we'd have never made it in time. For that okay. title, I borrowed an early version of the game for two days, ran around all the areas, saw the ending, and realized for the first time, hmm, I guess we can't really have Breath of the Wild's Princess Zelda as a fighter. Okay. That's kind of cool how you beat Breath of the Wild I did the same this time, yeah. but with there being three houses and multiple endings, it was really hard to get a feel for it. Is it? I wonder if they're going to have the green hair by this. There weren't any walkthroughs I could reference. <laughs> The game has multiple routes, and the outcome of each is very different. Yeah, very much so. Your experience will At least they're not separate games, right? Choose, and many of the characters you meet will adopt different roles in the story. I'll try to avoid spoilers when I'm talking about the fighter. Okay. I hope you'll understand. I mean, he can has all the weapons, and I only know about Felnot. I haven't played I should point out enough when I did to the Terry see the rest of the routes. Video, I mentioned that it was recorded a month in advance. But this time, we have to account for the holidays and such, so we're filming two months in advance of this video's release. Okay, right so it's now, it's number. actually November. Okay. Therefore, some of what I'm about to show you might differ a bit from the finished version. It is two months in advance, yeah. As always, I'm using a special in-game camera and such for demonstration purposes. As usual. Here I go. Come on, Sakura. Show us what we gotta see. Byleth. So, so, this is our new fighter, Violet. Okay. Sadly, they're lacking in mobility. It's maybe a bit better than Robin's, but that's about all you can say for them. Wow! Their strong point they're either. slow as their shit! Lacks range. But actually, you could say that they're distance demon. The dumb, hero's relic dumb, they use changes depending on the direction you input with the stick. Each of the hero's relics is a weapon that appears in Fire Emblem Three Houses. It's still not, it's they all look like bones, and there's a reason for that. Ancient relics, hello. It's, it's the guard! It's the guard! It's the fuck! It's the one guard, bro. It's it's the one guard up there, bro. It's the it's a V guard. If you play Three Houses, you know V guard. You know it's a D guard. Where it takes the form of a whip. <laughs> They also use the sword for dash attacks and other moves. Multi range sword. It's good. For their up smash attack. Ew, I hate it. The sword upward to launch enemies in the air. I hate it. It's just ZSS up, to, up smash. For their up air attack, <laughs> they'll wave the whip sword overhead. It looks dumb. The hit looks like it can't kill. This attack lasts for a relatively long time. Looks like it can't kill, though. So the up special move is really something. The sword extends like this. Oh. Allowing you to do things like this. Huh? That's it was nasty. Pretty terrifying how I knocked him into the air with that attack. And in addition, <laughs> I, I already hate that. I already hate that so much. It's so creative, but I already hate it. That said, you'll launch a because they're gonna cheese people so much. Damage reaches a certain percentage. So it doesn't spike until like later percentage. You'll need to be careful. You may find it helpful to mid-air dodge. I've already shown this, but you can also use it to latch onto edges. So that's the up special. Now for the sideways inputs. This is Erdvar, the same name as the weapon from Celtic mythology. Okay. 
I did not know that. The oh, they both use the air bar, okay. They have a long reach. Like so. Marth's air attack keeps opponents in check too, right? Look at him, look at him short up fairy go. If short up fairy retreating. Thing, you'd win out, so you should be able to beat it. Next, the side smash attack. This also has a long reach. It'll connect even from here. Never mind, down smash is the X, I'm dumb. Yeah, I just where they're actually at, like in the vendor also, shop. if you add an upward tilt, it will be stronger. Upward angle is stronger, okay. And if cool. you've knocked an opponent down, the side attack won't hit unless you add a downward tilt to aim for them. Okay, so you're getting up and down with me. Okay. By the way, the tip of the lance is more powerful. Of course, there's a fucking tipper. The shaft part is weaker. Of course, there's a tipper. How big is that hitbox going to be, though? So it's not I'm suited to close combat. Yeah. It won't Ew. do much damage, and it won't launch opponents far. That's why, as a rule, you want to hit with the blade part aimed upward. That's just so much more damage than knockback. Downward in this case. That's just so much damage than knockback. Next, the this map is really small, though, as much as I love it. Violet will simply swing the lance like this, but again, it has excellent reach. For example, even when your opponent is at this distance, it'll still hit. Where are they at now? Oh, this is the trap variant. I was like, where is this? This is nice looking, actually. And it has the, the emblem. Actually, the emblem you can do a smash attack to charge forward a little. Like this. What? But as you'd expect, it can be easily shielded, so be no careful. No shield damage either. Parable. Very slow, very laggy. Use it in mid-air and you'll carve up a large area. Okay. A lot of coverage in the air, but it's Returning very to slow. the side air attacks from earlier, they have great horizontal reach, but they lack verticality. Okay. So this complements it well. It covers a lot of Although range. You'll be vulnerable when you land. It's so fucking big. It looks like Cloud Smash 4 in air. For the downward inputs. For these, Byleth will use an axe called Emir. I like that. It's named after a weapon that appears in Ugaritic myth. Okay. First, the down air attack. It really is strong. Boom! <laughs> the spike? You can try yeah. for a Why would I ask that? Attack. Next is the down smash attack. Show me down smash. A heavy swing of the axe back and forth. That is very see, strong. It has Holy a great hell. deal of launch power. Holy crap. And this is why they didn't want to axe in the game. That looks like it breaks shields. All their energy into a devastating that looks like it breaks shields. It's Easy. a bold move, similar to the Falcon Punch, but here's what makes it different. When readying the move, there's a super armor effect. Ew. <laughs> I hate it. Which allows you to withstand an attack. I hate it. <laughs> Just so you know, if you execute a Falcon Punch at about the same time, it wins. It plays out like this. It's a bit slower than the Falcon Punch, but due to the super armor effect, you have the advantage. Okay, it's a Warlock Punch. It's, it's a Warlock Punch, not the Dumpy. <laughs> You just get grabbed out of it. That's Another funny. notable aspect is that it lets you pass through platforms. No, I hate that. While you're charging up, I hate you can that. No. Like this no, you can't. Area. That's not okay. It won't let you jump, but you could use it as a surprise attack. Yeah, just fucking run off the stage. Also, you can turn around during the move. The swing takes a while. So if an opponent mm -hmm. runs behind you during the move, you can quickly change direction. I don't like that. Uh, that's, a little, that's, a little, that's a little gross for Even me. Even though it can be hard to land a hit with this move, it can be really effective. It hits from behind, too. Components. The backswing has a hitbox starting from behind. That's gross, too. Plus, even if you fail to land a direct hit, okay, if any I opponents on the ground nearby will still be launched a little. Okay, it has a quake effect, too. It's as if the quaking of the ground launches them. I'll be strong, but yeah, it's fine. By the way, earlier I talked a little bit about the other Fire Emblem characters' moves. I counters. don't recommend using this down special against fighters from the Fire Emblem series because you'll just get loads of counters. That's right. It facts. hits with that much power in a single attack. Counters can actually multiply the power of blocked attacks, and using easily anticipated attacks like this can just be <laughs> just outright dying at zero. He's just dying at. Next, we have the neutral moves. They're yelling at something. The bow you use Let's is see. called Felma. All right, show me Felma. Name with the bow from the Knights of the Round Table. Okay. It only appears in a few neutral moves. You've got the neutral air attack. Yo, I actually like this that in there. This attack is similar to a move of Pitts and other fighters like him. It lets you spin the weapon around. Ew. Oh, you can just throw the hull? 
It's also easy to create certain combos with it. So what happens now? Is it just? And with the neutral I just hope it's not Nair. I hope it's not Nair. I hope it's not Palomar. Forward, right? But there Altair are a few aspects to this bow. Can you charge it? Can you can you First, hold it and shoot it later? The biggest difference between this bow and Lynx is that once you enter the command, you can keep charging until it's ready. You can't release it part way through the charge, so when it does fire, the arrow travels at high speed. Oh, you can't like it's okay, there's an early charge. It's only one charge speed. Well, that said, you can still cancel out of the stance using the shield button. Okay, Bayo. You can also change direction while in the stance. It works up until this point, but if you keep holding the button, yeah, you unleash a powerful arrow that looks like a beam of light. It's just um. You can perform this move. Dark Pits the final smash. <laughs> Goodbye. You charge up power like so. Charge a bit more. That takes like a second or two to charge fully. But again, you'll need to take care when using this move. Bow's really slow, one, so that's gonna be a hard to go. To its max, there's no way to cancel out of it. Not okay. even with the shield button. In other words, you're committed to firing it. Okay. So you see, a situation like and this is pretty terrible. Forty percent, Jesus. Yeah, he is slow Once with you the, the stand, You won't be able to do anything. Which means it's quite the risky attack to use against fighters who have a move with a reflector effect. But you could always just aim into the fray, as it is, after all, a long-range move. Letting you deal a sudden blow to opponents. So, you need to think carefully when using this projectile weapon. Okay. Byleth's final smash is called Progenitor God, Ruptured Heaven. In the original game, there's a move called Ruptured Heaven. This is an enhanced version. <laughs> yeah, Progenitor God, okay. Ew. <laughs> Ew, Japanese soap is ew. Hawaii <laughs> da? Look, okay, okay, we got Hawaii da in the game. <laughs> God, I goof. I'm goofing, bro. Hawaii da? Now, let's talk about the color variation. I'm just kind of glad this song specifically is in the game. It's set up so that the default and odd-numbered color variations are male, while the even-numbered ones are female. However, the third, oh boy. fourth, and fifth colors are, as you can see, reminiscent of the house leaders. Okay, Dimitri, Elgard, and game will Cloud. Of course understand what I'm referring to. I like the, I like the Cloud art actually a lot. The sixth color they, they have a Sothis on this one. Sothis, who you just saw earlier. All right, give me the last two then. And the seventh yeah, and eighth the, I, they needed that one. Have a different hair color, which is based on based on something that occurs in the course of the original game story. Dead. Didn't we see this variation Big in dead. the final smash? Big dead, super big dead boy. Am super big dead. I knew that was coming, thankfully. Okay, so the entirety of the Gary Bach Monastery is here. Next, I'll introduce the stage. For this one, we of course try to recreate the place where you spend most of the game. Gary Bach Monastery. This is how Gary Bach Monastery is laid out in the original game. Yeah. From Where's these, the third we chose to have it cycle through the marketplace, reception hall, bridge, and cathedral, all in one stage. Really? That's it? Okay. Neato, neato. It's the type of stage that rotates through different areas, such as these four. Okay. Let me I don't introduce each of the guests like that appear in these four rooms. areas. The first area is the marketplace. Yeah. I think this is where a lot of people come to do their shopping. Look at the do. The guests that appear here are students of the Blue Lion's house. The Dimitri, Dudu. Dedu, and Ingrid. Ingrid looks gross as Not shit. Dimitri, Dudu, or Ingrid. Their Dudu. names are a bit difficult to say. Dudu. I mean, I always said Dudu. They're largely from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Okay. Since it's a kingdom, that means they have a monarchy. For that reason, yeah. I guess you could say Dimitri is the future king. He had quite a difficult life and may or may not end yeah. with just one eye. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunate one, that one. Oh, don't talk about Dimitri's future. There are vendors on either side. In the original game, these are important booths where you buy all sorts of things. You can actually destroy them for some reason. Uh, here you can break them, you see. I mean, if you mean do shit. break them. Oh, there's no the backswing? Okay, then DK's just big as shit. I wonder where people will buy their supplies now. <laughs> next, the next row down. And in the background, you can see the gatekeeper. The, the boy. You often That's pass the boy. through this area in Fire Emblem Three Houses, and you end up talking to him a lot. Moving through these the areas fucking is boy. thanks to this mysterious platform. Okay. Just when it seems like you've come to a stop. There's... 
You're come okay. crashing back. Edelgard, guard. We've broken through the ceiling. I can't see and into Petra and Dorothea. Oh, Dorothea, whatever. And the guests in the reception. How are they gonna pronounce her name actually? Dorothea. Dorothea. And Petra of the yeah, not 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 Dorothea. Take note, it's not spelled Edelgard. They're from the Adresian Empire. That's cool. And as such, they embrace their military might. God, fucking Dorothea is over here just posing Edelgard a lot. Edelgard is one of the characters who is central to the conflict. Ah, Edel the path you take, she'll go through some terrible ordeals. LOL, she's a Nazi. You'll notice there are prominent chandeliers above the stage. Basically. It's possible to knock them down. Oh, I didn't even see those the first time. However, Violet can't actually reach it, even though it's their stage. You can reach it with other fighters, though. Hee <laughs> hee. Up he so, sucks. <laughs> it's nice if you can work your way up there by getting lucky and being launched up, or perhaps by using another fighter as a stepping stone. There we go. I made it. And there you go. I made it. it down. There you go. I made it. <laughs> also, you can break this table. Like so. <laughs> you can break this table. Just like the sign that reads Fooding Kazan in the Suzaku Castle stage, it can break if you launch the opponent into it at close range. Okay. Neato. Next up, the bridge. The camera rotates 90 degrees, creating this long area. Oh. It's a very okay, wide indeed. Okay, so I'm assuming any member of the house will spawn. Because Leon, Hilda, it's and Claude are here. the bridge of Elden stage. The Hilda, guests stop are the golden deer. Act Claude, like dumb. Hilda, and Lawrence. Lawrence, They belong okay. to the Leicester Alliance. I would call them Lawrence, but Ed Lawrence, I suppose. Because it's an alliance of many noble families, you could say that they have a wide assortment of members. Hmm. And Claude is the Claude's sharpest the best one. Bunch. Claude's the best one. Claude, I just love Claude. Both Claude's Claude great. and Hilda are the names of characters that appear in Genealogy of the Holy War, the fourth title in the Fire Emblem series. Gee, I, guess I wonder. I once you've reached the 17th game and are creating 40 characters for each new entry, you're bound to get a bit of name overlap. Yeah, the sucks. naming process must be tough. <laughs> hey, it looks like the Pegasus Knight is busy training. Okay, I guess we're out the... As for the bridge's design, it's just a long pathway, plain and simple. Yeah. You can expect plenty of blows to be exchanged at the edges of the screen. Everything's a walk-off. You could also say it's a place where the fail knot really shines, and in this sense, I think it suits the Golden Deer perfectly. I mean, that, that is a that is cloth weapon, so, yeah. The last area is the cathedral. All right, so we got Rhea. Some platforms. I'm um, blanking. Um, the guests appearing in the Seth. cathedral are Seda, Flame, Flame, and Rhea. Okay. There's Seda. I blanked on Seda for a second. Extremely strong bond with his sister Flame. She seems to be under the protection of him and Rhea, who you can see fighting during the opening of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Yay! All three have character the characters. The characters. Flame's still the best character though. Like, look at her. Look at her. I feel Adorable that Flame tell. might be saying shush at this point, so I'll leave it at that. Okay. This is a simple area of the stage. All it has are these. I like holes. this layout, but Being again, area, it's a walk-off. It may be a place where some intense battles will be waged. It'll cycle through each location in about two and a half minutes. Huh. Okay. Let's see both in action then. Okay, today we'll have a tag team battle in Squad Strike with the <laughs> DLC team pitted against Fire Emblem protagonists from throughout the ages. That'll give us precisely five players per side. Really now? All right, here we go. It's Joker. mental. Camp the corner, Joker! bro. And hero. <laughs> what? Gee, we really made a lot, huh? Banjo. Banjo. By now, I think you know what I'm doing. But use basically, I'm trying to defeat all five opponents with just the Professor Gear. Haha. <laughs> but as expected, it's going to be a pretty tough battle, so I'm using anything I can get my hands on. Okay, never mind. My, my thought was that it was it's not two and a half minutes be like before it switches to a different scene. Oh, no, it's bad. two and a half minutes total for the cycle. Fanikin. Fanikin. Okay. I better keep my distance. Ew! <laughs> I'll use this chance to attack. Got it. Oh, but bomb spawn. That's scary. He's yeah. invincible for a moment here. Lots of explosions. Oh, this is gonna be the four Ouch. glory character. The four glory character. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be the online character. Like, that's gonna be it's gonna be annoying to deal with. Yeah, so that 
Some just some shit like, like this, that. Like oh. this or like so. He's no just, here, huh? He's having too much fun with that. I love Fail Not as a neutral. It looks so dumb and I love it. Be metal already, bro. You're in a good spot, mom. Oh, sir? <laughs> You're in a good spot, mom. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have taken that. Gardevoir. Well, I guess no one uses projectiles. At this point, it doesn't matter if Gardevoir's there or not. That's fact, yeah. I feel like the enemy might get this smash ball. Facts. See? They got it. Yo, but if you die, it's but it, bro. Mustn't give up. <laughs> I can't waste the chance. Wow! That did so much There's shield damage. Ball. Yes, got it. The Rage Blaster? Now! What are you charging okay, he's, for? He's at zero. He's at zero. So it's still a really small walk off, so. Okay. There's still more. Wow! That went through the stage. Go on. You can thing. take the hammer, but it's mine. Although, I'm scared I might get hit with a counter in this state. I hit him! Yo, he's so happy. I was trying to fight using Byleth's abilities alone, but what matters is that I won. Good game. It can be fun to play like this, especially in tag team, so I think it's a good idea to try imposing different types of challenges on yourself. Okay. The end. The end. <laughs> Song collection. Oh, uh, give me all this music. Now, it's all, it's all Nintendo music, music, so it's like... You better have a lot of music. Since it's from the Fire Emblem series, we'll be adding each of the new tracks to all the Fire Emblem stages. There are already a lot of Fire Emblem tracks in the game. Our selection this time has been made taking those existing tracks into consideration. 11 tracks total. 11 songs Could have done more, added. but eh. I'm not one to judge about that. We're getting a new character regardless. In both Japanese and English. I hope you'll enjoy these as well. We're also adding in a new spirit board. It includes the house leaders among some of the other popular characters. Oh, I see something over there. Yeah. Sothis is legend class. Okay. Are you really all the spirits? Also, there's a new classic mode route, a heroic heroic legacy. legacy, which okay. is designed to let you enjoy classic Fire Emblem stages from throughout the series history. Okay. I mean, now the there's eight Fire Emblem characters. Against Master Hand and Crazy Hand. But you'll find that something pretty amusing happens, so look forward to that. Okay. Neato. I'm excited for that then. Now for the Mii Fighter costumes. Yeah. Please take a look. Yeah, give me something. Give me something out of this world. Give me something that blow my mind more than Violet already has. Give me something that I actually want to buy the Mii costumes. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. I saw the cloak and I immediately thought of like um, Assassin's Creed. Just through. All right. Well, at least I know I'm not buying that. <laughs> it was kind of neat, though. I like it. It's kind of weird. It's weird. Okay, back back to the Smash Four classics. Battle Network. Ooh, I mean, still like, again, they're coming back to Smash Four, but I mean, it's better than not at all. Holy shit! Holy shit! Yo, that's kinda hype! What the music tracks? Tracker tracks! I oh god. Yeah, okay, that wins. That just wins it. Okay. <laughs> Cuphead's in fucking smashing the cut. Bro, you can play Cuphead vs. Sans, and they're both me gunners. <laughs> That's ludicrous. You know, the Microsoft only thing. Okay, give me something to buy. Yeah, I'm definitely buying the Cuphead one now. And it comes with music. This time, we're releasing a Cuphead costume. 
and for those of you who purchased the Cuphead costume, an additional song will be added. Is it this one? It's called Floral Fury, and it's the theme that plays when fighting Cagney Carnation. I hope you enjoyed these as well. I fucking love it, dude. That's so crazy, After random. purchasing a costume, I recommend using the sharing feature. <laughs> if someone has created a Mi Fighter, you can play using the costume it's wearing immediately after you download it. And now, on to the Amiibo. Rift and Dark Samus. I've been told about these already coming out. The color palette for Dark Samus looks pretty good. And it's just constantly cat incarnation music? Samus and Richter are planned for release on tomorrow. Friday, January 17th. That's, that's tomorrow, boys. And now, with the addition of Violet, the fighter's pass is finally complete. Oh boy. The lineup was Joker, Hero, Banjo and Kazooie, Terry Bogard, and Violet. Yeah. What a lineup, actually. <laughs> Shit. From more than 70 fighters, only five have been added. But I must say, this game has always been an exceptional experience. And since the roster was already so large to begin with, right from the start, we intended to make the most out of the new gameplay mechanics and so on. Dun, dun, dun. There really were a lot of new mechanics, weren't there? When we add a new fighter, we don't simply make their attacks or their movements. A I just realized all the DLC, Instead, we um, to offer you a whole new style not including Piranha Plant because he's free LC. Uh, all the all the paid DLCs, final smashes are all cutscenes. I just realized that. As I stated, we'll continue to release more DLC fighters down the line. I had thought that one or two might suffice, but, well, have a look. Have a look, okay. Even more fighters are in development. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, they're doing a pack two. You now have to have confirmation of a sixth character pack 11. <sighs> Holy crap. Looks like there will be one more fighter than last time. <laughs> He's dying inside. For this reason, we will be releasing the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighters Pass Volume 2. It will be available for pre-purchase on the date shown. So please Released by December 2021. Jesus. Official, we intend to move ahead with development. Of course, like last time, the contents will remain unknown for now. And I'm personally very sorry that we have to release Fighters Pass Volume 2 when the details have yet to be revealed. We're gonna still buy it regardless. Like last time, I'd be very grateful if, despite that, you would understand why and purchase it. Furthermore, the new additions have already been decided. Even if I receive many requests regarding potential candidates on Twitter, I'm afraid it would be very hard to consider them. <laughs> All the Twitter bombs. But I still hope you'll look forward to it. We're also including a bonus with Fighters Pass Volume 2. Last right, time, it was a Rex costume. Okay. But this time, here's what we have. Okay. Interesting. Let me see. Did I already get this? Did I already get this? Oh, never it's mind. It's a Mii Fighter costume for Mii Sword Fighter. The ancient soldier gear from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I was going to say, because I already get, like, default uh, Breath of the Wild Blink already. for sale individually, so it can only be acquired as part of Fighter's Pass Volume 2. Okay. <laughs> Rob fucking died. <laughs> Lastly. It's been reported that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the highest selling fighting game in the world. Nice, yeah. Personally, I don't know if it counts as simply a fighting game, but I guess it's seen as a fighting game around the world. Is it a fighting game? It seems like Street Fighter 2 was in the lead for a while, but now Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has surpassed it in total sales. Nice. That's crazy, However, actually. I'm not sure if this is accurate. There were five versions of Street Fighter 2, or also 6 to true. 7 if we really want to get into the weeds. Plus, there's the arcade versions and the 25 ports to other systems, so I don't know if that's been accounted for. Also, I don't know if that really qualifies as one game. It's up for discussion. So, who knows? But when it comes to a single piece of software, it seems like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is number one. Okay, nice. Although, I still don't know if it can really be called just a fighting game. I feel like it's become more than a fighting game. Some sort of celebration of gaming or something else entirely. Also, I feel a deep attachment to the five DLC fighters. I mean, yeah. That makes sense. You made a lot happen, bro. The first fighters pass just wrapped up. 
but it was decided that there would be more DLC. Which means, no breaks for me. So, with Plant, plan there's 12 DLC hard, characters so, I so hope far. You can continue there's going to be 12 DLC characters, holy shit. That's it. Thank you. Huh. I'm kind of hyper cuphead, that's about all I know. I'm just kind of hyper cuphead. <sighs> so, we got Byleth. We got Byleth. I was not expecting Byleth as much as everyone was also expecting Byleth. Um, we got the Garrick Mock Monastery. We got some banger music from Three Houses. Three Houses music's always been great, so I'm really excited. I've always wanted Three Houses music in the game, uh, but I didn't want Byleth, so it's kind of like a, a different thing. Um, I'm excited. It doesn't show it at first, but I, I, I will be excited when, they, when the characters drop in like two weeks. Um... Like, the Cuphead me costume got me fucking... I'm out there, bro. I'm out there. I'm off. I'm off on the moon. I'm in the moon now. Uh, I'm so excited for that Cuphead skin, because... Yeah. I mean... I'm a big fan of Cuphead. Where are you, actually? You were just here. I was just playing you, like, like two days ago. There you are. Literally the next one. Okay. I went out of my way, and I, I, I got it twice. Oh, on Steam, and I got it on Switch. I, I actually just like the game that much. Um, I'm just excited for a lot of the stuff. We have Challenger Pack Two with the seat with another sixth character involved. So who knows what's gonna be revealed? Um, when they when they finished um, Fighter Pack One, here's what's crazy, right? Sorry, when when they first announced Fighter Pack One, they mentioned that production would be finished by. February 2020, which is still accurate since Bilet's coming out January 28th, 2020, which is right before February even like begins, so it's a few days. So the, their general like prediction plan that they had going was you know, correct, but now you have to wait until December 2021 until everything's done with Pack 2, and you have to think about how December 2021 is... That's crazy. So, okay. Now I'm gonna see a calendar real quick to judge the exact numbers, but I believe it's I believe it's twenty three months of wait time until everything's done. Twenty three months. Let me get a calculation on here. So, okay. December two thousand twenty one. Actually I can just do this. I want to see because I know Google tells you like how many days away X X day is. Um, how many? Well, months is twenty three. I know that, but twenty three months in two weeks. Google, help me. So, 715 days for December 31st, 2021. It's 715 days away. Uh, that's because there's a leap year. This, there's a le today's, this uh, 2020 is a leap year. So, we have 715 days of wait time until everything drops. So, now my thing is this. Oh, probably because this is over here. Okay, so. 715 days. 24 hours in the day. 17,160 hours. Times that by 60 for the minutes. Over a million minutes. 1,029,600 minutes. Times that by 60 one more time. Um, from this point, from this moment forward, sixty one million six hundred sixty one million seven hundred seventy six thousand seconds and counting until until all the DLC is done. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck.